Don Peoples dead boat. Let's talk about it. And yeah, man, we about to talk about it. BET Awards 2021. Black Exploitation Television. Yeah, that's what I went with. Because the damn show ain't no entertainment. So, obviously, man, a lot of y'all probably didn't seen the BET Awards. Or maybe y'all haven't seen the BET Awards. But one thing for certain, I know y'all didn't heard about a few of the things that went on at the BET Awards. See, it really wasn't worth really talking about, you know, a lot of the great things that this platform is supposed to bring to our culture. No, 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 no. This was about the kiss that was heard all across the galaxy. And I just want to know, do we understand that there is agenda, uh, an agenda now? Like, do we understand that? Like, are, are we aware of that now? Because if this didn't show you that it was some bullshit, that there's been some bullshit, I don't know what has. Now, obviously, man, the reason why I say this is, you know, exportation at its finest is because what it's doing is just exploiting the thing that we call hip hop and our music, you know, because this right here really highlighted that this is not about music. This is about imagery and what you're trying to get across. See, with me working in television behind the scenes, I understand one thing I know about programming and target audiences. Now, obviously, as a creator, you want everybody to see your shit, right? But a cartoon is made specifically, certain cartoons, let's say, are made for certain children, age groups. You know what I'm saying? And even movies, right? So when you have award shows or videos, they know who the target audiences are. And it's not 30 and up, 21 and up. Hell, not even 18 and up. You know, the people that they're targeting are the children. And... What you gave off in this award show wasn't anything cultural, wasn't anything dealing with entertainment as far as music wise, you know, um, celebrating our history, our roots, our foundations. You know, this was just a clown show. Showing all the bad things that our culture has now accepted. You know, I remember one point in time where it was it was just different, you know. It wasn't about all this extra shit. It was about the music. You know, yeah, it's always been gimmicks and music. I get it, but not to this degree. Not where everybody who comes into the game is just on some weird stuff or overly selling themselves. You know, or pushing a certain sexuality. Like, I'm not even for male and female being all out front of the cameras, like Ricky Rockstar type shit. You know, um, you know, have we done some clown, you know, stuff on, on that regard? Like, I remember when Snoop brought the chicks on to the carpet with, you know, in leashes. You know, I think there's a lot of things, man, that we've done leading up to this that's made this okay. That makes this okay in our subconscious not to step up and say, wait a minute, man. This ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn awards or some BET. This ain't the BET I know. Yeah. It's definitely not the BET you know. Like, BET, man, has went straight political agenda. You know, and with the military mind games that they've been pumping on our youth in the name of music or hip hop, man, it's just crazy. 
Like, what you see these people turning into, man, are strict characters. And this is what homies in the hood and, you know, chicks from the hood, this is what they striving to be. This is what they see every day. This is what they see that's going. So they like, yo, if I do it like this with a little bit of this to it, then maybe I can be the next so-and-so. And it's like, when are we going to step up, man, and really pull the cover all the way off of this whole game, this experiment, this defeminization? That's what it is. We got to call a spade a spade. We can't sit back and look like we blind, like we can't see what they trying to do. I mean, when you look at the homie Little Nas X, it's like ever since he did that video, you know, you know, the one when he was, you know, sitting on Satan's lap, gyrating, got heels on, you know, just all type of crazy imagery, right? And now you see what they doing. They putting him in the front of everything. Dresses, you know, um, just totally out there, totally um, with the shits. And, you know, I understand he comes from, you know, the Nicki Minaj fan page or whatever the hell, <laughs> you know what I mean? He, 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 he popped out from, but I mean, homie is just lost and we're celebrating this, you know, we, we're, we're championing this. This is, this is what we want, you know, because a lot of entertainers got behind him. A lot of entertainers, especially, you know, when he did, you know, the kiss, it, it just threw me off because I'm like, yo, like, is this what we doing now? And and this is appropriate to show on a war show where, you know, kids are watching. You know, dude looked like he was in the bedroom, like he got one on one arm, one on the other. I mean, it's it's really, you know, he in his pharaoh robes, you know, it's so much symbolism that's that's involved in this whole picture right here it, 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 it's it's crazy but you know what's even crazier is that nobody in the hip-hop industry or anybody dealing with music is like yo man can we take a time out nah niggas is quieter than a mouse Shh. that's how they feeling right now you know niggas ain't really got too much to say when it comes to that, but we did have one of our leading celebrities, you know, one of our gatekeepers, you know, Mr. Bisexual himself, Diddy, Sean Combs, love, you know, made a comment, man, and said, you know, like, yes, little Nas, <clears throat> come out and speak your truth. You know, basically stating that, like, you're proud of him or something. But really, I seen all through that. I know, man, you wanted to live your truth through Little Nas X. What you seen Little Nas X do is what you wanted to do since the early 90s, Diddy. Just be yourself and live your truth. And, you know, because all the rumors that have, that have been around you for all these years, you know, you got to really put Diddy in the place of being bisexual because everybody say he is. But, you know, obviously there's no public footage of him coming out or, you know, really catching him in a real crazy act. Now, he did tell Fab to come, you know, man, Fab, I ain't party with you yet. You know, you ain't really party with me. You know, we know what he was talking about when he said that. But it really is crazy because Holmes is really living his truth through little Nas X. And him coming out championing the whole what he did, like it was just like a proud moment for for black America and everything that's culminated up to this point of Lil Nas X wet mouthing another dude on stage. Like this is what it's about. Man, it's confusion at its finest. With all the stuff that's hidden black America, the pandemic within the pandemic, you know, all the stuff that's been going on um, in the neighborhoods, niggas getting rocked to sleep and, you know, families mourning and crying. And this is what we celebrate now, you know, Lil Nas X wet mouthing another dude. 
and 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 Diddy co-signing it, or or my bad, Love co-signing it, because you know Diddy pumps that metrosexual, you know, type of lifestyle, and I think that he was a proud father when he seen Nas X take his vows live on BET. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, he that's what he looked like. And it, and it was sad, man, that none of us really want to call a spade a spade because, oh, oh, I get it. You know, Diddy got the bread. You know, he a billionaire. You know, you don't want to upset Mr. Rock, boy, you know. But it's like everybody, man, just, just idolizes the bread. And you, you got money, or, you know, you a rapper. Or, you know, you could just do what you want to do. You could dress how you want to dress. You could say what you want to say. You know, it ain't no moral standard no more. You know, because everybody's just chasing the bag. And however you get the bag, there ain't no integrity behind it no more. And for for the music industry to let this go, which you know they going to do, it goes to show you what the agenda is and what it's always been. And now we reaching a critical point where now they about to pull the curtain back. You know, you got NFL players again talking about they, you know, proudly gay and, you know, and you got all type of people coming out. Now, I ain't got no problem with what you do in your bedroom or what your preference is. But when you're pushing even any type of sexuality in the mainstream culture, like you trying to program somebody, uh, I ain't I got a problem with that because I want kids and young adults <clears throat> to naturally come into this thing because it's a lot of things to come with, you know, having sex, you know, more than a baby, more than STDs. And these demons know that. So we need to be conscious, man, of what we putting on the screen. You know, we got another, you know, Meg the Stallion, you know, when is Meg the Stallion, <laughs> you know, a male horse, you know, it's like they put all this shit in front of your face, man. It's like a joke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, it looks like, you know, that whatever that is needs to come out and, and make her truth, right? Like everybody needs to just make their truth and I'll be cool with it. Once all y'all come out, make y'all true, say what y'all really on, then people like me, man, won't be dissecting and picking y'all apart. You know, this BET, which whatever you call it, Award show was just a ceremony to show the wicked, wicked industry and what their true agenda is. Had nothing to do with music, had nothing to do with our culture, but it had everything to do with pumping and pushing male on male activity. And for hip hop, or just our culture to keep accepting this agenda being put on it. Like, 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 like we founded this, like this is our natural thing we like to do, man. It's time to get these dudes out of here. It's time for some real masculinity to come back into the game or better yet people being able to do and have sex with who they want to have sex with, but not be forced to comply, to get into this game. You feel me? Because that's what it is. It's like if you don't sell out to what they believe in, you might as well not even come through this door because you see what it is from the young being Lil Nas X to the old being Diddy. So, man, y'all y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Y'all get in the comment box. Y'all let me know what y'all on. Do y'all think love supporting Lil Nas X was a crime? Or do you think he's really showing you his true colors and living his truth behind Lil Nas X? Also, do you think Lil Nas X and what he did as far as kissing the dude right on stage and and being catapulted to the top, are, are, are we wrong for not wanting to support Lil Nas X and what the agenda is? Or is it time to stand up and call a spade a spade? I want to hear what y'all think, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, we building up the channel, man. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Don Peoples. Dead boat. Gone.